I found seven easy remote jobs you can do from anywhere. And the best part is these jobs can be done overnight or part time on the weekends for all of you busy folks and entrepreneurs out there. All of these jobs provide equipment. There is no degree requirement and you can earn up to $45 an hour plus benefits. So watch till the end for those jobs. Let's go ahead and hop right in. Oh, but super quick, let's go ahead and look at these shout outs because a lot of you have been coming to me and you said, Jazzy, I told you months ago that I got the job and you didn't shout me out. And I was like, I'm sorry, sometimes your comments will get buried. I don't see them. So I apologize. Thank you for reaching out to me via email to check me and let me know that I have overlooked your shout out and putting it in the video. So Miss Karis said, Hey Jazzy, got it. Target was so flattering. They said you've impressed us with your talents. As a result, we love to invite you to join our team. Congratulations, which is so cool because this was back in October when like her start date is in October and I did this video back in September. So I'm just seeing this comment. But congratulations to you. I'm so proud of you. I love that you all are getting these target corporate roles. Like, I just love that it's you're not going anywhere. You're doing it from your home. So congratulations to you. Very excited. Let me know how it's been going. Give me an update, Karis. And then Miss Peachy said, hi, Jazzy. I got the job at Nailnet. The interview questions were catered towards customer service. I was offered the job on the spot after interviewing. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love when you all interview so well that you get the job on the spot. And this is why I tell you to watch these interview videos. Like I literally put the the magic lines, the magic words in those videos of what to say to land these jobs on the spot. So congratulations to you. And then Miss Casilla had also commented. I didn't see this comment until recently. She said, I applied and I got the job at TurboTax. The pay was $20 an hour plus bonus. Thank you for all of your help. Congratulations to you. I love it when you all get these jobs at like TurboTax because it opens up doors for you to get jobs in government, for you to get jobs at finance places fintech companies, like you all are really walking into amazing opportunities when you get these big name companies like TurboTax on your resume. So congratulations to you. And then Miss Kristen, I apologize, didn't see this message either. She said, hey, Jazzy, been following you a while. I applied for CVS for the work from home position and was offered the job before the recruiter hung up. Congratulations to you. I love to see it. Thank you for letting me know that I didn't shout you out previously. And thank you all for keeping me honest. Again, my interview videos are what you all need to just land these jobs and make sure you all grab your $200. Okay. I sent an email about that to my pay bumpies out there. Okay. So my pay bump members, make sure you check your emails. Okay. Cause I don't want you saying jazzy, everybody else got their $200 and I didn't get mine. So go check your emails for that. Now let's hop back into these jobs. So coming in at job number one is going to be for the company urban. Now, all of you have heard of Urban one way other or another. If you've ever shopped at like Anthropology or Urban Outfitters or even like Newly, this is the big umbrella brand behind all of those names. So if you look here, it shows you all of the different companies that are kind of under their umbrella and they are hiring for daytime as well as evening part-time positions. If you take a look here, it says that they are hiring for a part-time customer success associate job. Now this is going to be for the day weekend shift for a nine to five shift. So if you're looking for something that's just quick and easy to do on the weekends, this is going to be perfect for those of you that want to help customers through email and chat, basically with questions about their orders, or it could be questions about shipping, things of that nature. And the pay for this is going to be very entry level friendly. It's going to be $15 per hour, which is great for those of you that are just getting back into the workforce. But what is nice is that they also include sick leave. You also get employee discounts, 401k partnership discounts, and even an employee referral bonus. So this is a really cool opportunity for those of you that are like kind of into fashion. You want something super easy and simple to do while the kids are in the background. You can do that on this day shift as well as 
an evening shift role. So go ahead and check out this role. The resumes are fully done for you. These are already in your portal. And as a reminder, we're going to be showing those $45 an hour jobs towards the end of this video. But let's get into some more beginner friendly opportunities. Now, again, here we have the evening shift for those of you um, that are interested in more of a 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern short of, sort of shift if you're not wanting to give up your actual daytime hours. So this is an alternate shift that you can work. Now, coming in at our next opportunity is going to be for FIS. FIS is a financial payments platform. Um, they work with a lot of merchants like in the background to provide the merchant technology that a lot of you all use. And with this position, this is going to be a third shift position and it's going to be for a business analyst role. A lot of you have been asking me for those business analyst opportunities. And with this job, it's going to be from Sunday, 8 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. Central Time. Um, and then Monday through Thursdays is going to be 9.30 p.m. to 5.30 Central Time. So it says that the end of shift time can fluctuate and is dependent on processing. So with this particular role, it says that they are looking for someone that is detail oriented to do things related to monitoring transaction flows, file validation, platform support, and just making sure that things are running smoothly. If you're good with ticketing systems, um, when you put in a ticket, if someone's like from a different department, they're having a problem and you have to submit a ticket for that and send it to the appropriate team. That's what you're going to do. This is a pretty much a no phones position. So it's really something that is pretty beginner friendly. If you've got any sort of payments or banking experience, even if you've worked like at a Wells Fargo or maybe you work at Walmart Money Center, all of that is considered payment and finance technology. And again, with this job, it is a high paying job. It's going to go into that $42 an hour range. This is just going to be for your salary, your base salary. It doesn't include um, the additional pay that you get for like your bonuses um, and any other pay incentives that they offer. Sometimes they give you a sign on bonus. Sometimes it's an annual bonus. But again, you're making a lot of money to not be on phones. Yes, I've done the resume for this. It's in your portal. So let's look at our next opportunity. Now, this next opportunity is going to be for the company Philips. Now, if you've ever heard of Philips, you've probably like used their uh, spin brushes. Maybe your mom had a Philips TV way back in the day, but they also make healthcare technology products. And for those of you that have ever worked in any type of healthcare setting, Philips is going to be perfect for you because of the the position that they're hiring for right now is a radiology support assistant. Now, let's take a closer look at this because it's not like where you have to do actual x-rays. This is just you supporting the teams that do those x-rays and some of the doctors that might say, hey, we got a missing x-ray image. Can you put in a ticket and let the x-ray team know that the image never came through to us? So for this particular position, it is going to be third shift um, from four to six a.m. This is Pacific time, um, which would be 7 uh, p.m. if you were on Eastern time. So it says the current shifts are going to be every weekend or every other weekend. So you're going to be a part of the team that supports the radiologist. You're there to do the tickets. You're there to make sure that the systems are up and running. You don't have to necessarily have medical um, experience. They do allow you to just have general customer service experience. So again, if you don't have medical background, that's not a big deal. Um, they want at a minimal for you to have a high school diploma and a GED. So what are they paying? Well, the pay is going to be up to $25 per hour based on your job related skills, your experience and your geographical location. They do offer internal equity, which is like stock in the company. So that's extra free money for you. And then there's also got things like generous PTO and a 401k 
and stock along with HSA and a whole lot of other good benefits. There's also an educational reimbursement for those of you that wanted to go back to school, but you don't want to pay for school. So this is a really great opportunity for those of you that enjoy those third shift hours. Um, So let's look at the next opportunity we have here. Now, the next opportunity is going to be for CrowdStrike. A lot of you have probably heard of CrowdStrike if you're in like the technology or cybersecurity sort of arena, if that's something you went to school for. Um, CrowdStrike is very well known in the cyber community. Um, They do a lot of cybersecurity events. And so this is just great for those of you that want to go into any sort of intrusion detection, sort of roles, things of that nature. So with this position, they are looking for an intrusion analyst, okay, to work. This is going to be the third shift remote position for them. So it says here that this role will be on the cutting edge threat hunting team facing off against sophisticated threat actors, okay? Now, it's going to be from 11 p.m. to 10 a.m., Um, It is 100% remote, as we've been saying for all of these roles. And basically, they want you to protect the customer's networks um, and identify any intrusions. This could be somebody doing some cyber stalking that's trying to infiltrate the system or trying to hack into the system. And you'll look at those types of alerts um, and, again, report those alerts. So this is a lot of looking at systems. You might be looking at like Splunk, or you could be looking at other little cyber um, detection systems. Um, So with this job, they want you to have some Windows knowledge, some Linux knowledge. Um, Again, like we said, Splunk or Kibana. And if you don't have a bachelor's degree, work experience will supplement. But this particular job pays really, really well. You're coming in making 90K up to 150K. Okay, that's $45 an hour on the lower end. And for those of you that have any sort of technical support experience, cyber experience, I don't care if you even worked in like payment risk, or if you worked in like merchant risk, all of that stuff is considered like it's in the umbrella of cybersecurity. So with this job, you're probably going to walk in making like 100K, right? Most of you will make 100K plus along with the equity and the benefits. So this job is a really great job. Um, again, if you want to do cybersecurity or if you're wanting to get into government. So this is going to be one great opportunity for somebody. So you all need to apply for this like a SAP. Now, the next position we have is going to be for Sedgwick. We've had so many people get jobs from Sedgwick. Sedgwick is just, it's such a perfect job to basically do if you're trying to get like into HR, but you don't know how to get your foot in the door. They are a benefits related company. So they do like claims for slip and falls in the workplace. And, you know, if somebody needs to do a medical leave, that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and look at the opportunities that they have available. And I do want to mention they are global. So Canada, France, Ireland, Netherlands, New Zealand, even the UK, they've got positions pretty much all over the globe. So let's go ahead and look at what they have in the United States. So once we come over here, if you drill down on where it says time type and go to the part-time roles, you'll see they've got several roles for evening customer service specialist. They've got daytime customer service specialist. If you go down, you'll see part-time weekend positions. And then they've also got part-time weekday positions for the care team representative. So for purposes of this video, let's just look at the care team weekend position. And it's open to many, many states throughout the United States. Um, For this position, it's going to be 18 hours a week. All shifts include a Monday and you're working 815 to 245. And of course, you would ignore this start date. This is probably like somebody didn't update the the job description, but they're actively hiring for this role. As I've said, a bunch of people have got hired for this role. 
So in this position, they're just looking for someone to work in a team environment, provide excellent customer service to internal and external customers. You might have to direct calls. You might have to do um, some tracking and coding of documentation. What I love about Sedgwick is that they provide you with so much training. They are a company that encourages newbies, like actual beginners in the workforce to apply because they offer a world-class training program, right? So if you don't have much experience, they are going to absolutely train you. They are very beginner friendly, right? So they will also provide all of your equipment to you. Again, you get plenty of benefits, your 401k, PTO, all that good stuff. And it's just a great place to start if you're just getting back into the workforce. So they've got several positions available depending on which team you want to be on. I put all the links in the portal for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more position. We've got the everyday health position. Again, everyday health is like a, a healthcare platform that connects doctors and other providers um, with clients or with patients rather So in this position, they're trying to promote their Lose It app, which is a weight loss app. So if you are a fan of like Weight Watchers, this is kind of similar to that. Um, And they're looking for someone that's going to offer support via email. So again, a no phones role, perfect for beginners. Um, With this position, they're saying that the salary is going to be up to about $22 an hour. And for email support, that's pretty good. You're working on Zendesk tickets. You may have to escalate um, different matters that people report on. But again, they want you to get familiar with the Lose It app because people will probably be asking you questions about the app. They might say, hey, the app is crashing. Or they might say, hey, I can't access my app. Um, Can you assist me with this? And then you create a ticket and send it to the application team or the engineering team or wherever it needs to go. So again, they provide training. They want you to work a couple of weekend days per month. Um, and you only have to do your virtual meetings usually on Tuesday mornings, which is just really, really great that you're not in meetings every single day. But with this job, again, excellent, excellent beginner job, no phone. So you can do it with your kids in the background, which is just really, really great. Doesn't matter what part of the U.S. you live in. It's av- it's open to all parts of the U.S. So make sure you are looking at these interview videos because those are going to be the videos that make or break whether or not you get the job. So if you're needing help with interviews, go and check out that interview video so that you can be the next person saying, Jazzy, I got the job before they even hung up the phone. Listen, I'm so excited for you. Go check out that video now because if you stay ready, you never have to get ready. Oh, crrr.